Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasol. This is Android App Development 2017. In this video, I will teach you how to use multiple thread and handler in Android. Okay, let's go to Android. Okay, before I jump in and write the code about the thread and handler, let me explain a little bit about the thread. So, in Android, when you have the app like that, anything that uh, is working uh, here is in the main thread. So you cannot occupy the main thread um, mostly when you do the bitmap encoding or maybe you want to transfer the data from uh, our app to the network or maybe from the server, database server or even the complex uh, mathematics calculation you cannot do that and if something that it takes longer than 5 seconds you will have the application not respond okay so to solve that problem you have to use the thread so the thread is a kind of a task you know and you can run multiple tasking or multiple threads at the same time so so it's not running uh, serialized it's running as a parallel concurrency you know so for example you have like uh, downloading while you're downloading you want to do something else you know and um, do some calculation maybe you have a list and then you scroll down and then uh, the image pop up because the image has to be downloaded from the website those kind of things have to be used in a thread okay and then the handler is something that uh, you want to transfer the data from a thread to the user interface so from a different thread Let's say you have thread number one and thread number one is doing some kind of downloading. So while you are downloading, you would see some percentage, right? Like 10% download, 20% download, right? So the data will display on the UI. So handler is the one that take the data number 10, 20 from the real data in a thread. To display in the UI thread in a text box you know in a type view or in the progress bar so you have to understand the two things here thread is a real thread that you uh, can execute anything you know as a background uh, thread and handler is just someone try to uh, send the data from the thread to the UI that's all okay let me show you how to do that so first let me uh, create another text view so in this example i will do just like a looping you know in two different uh, text box here see now so i will name the text box here as a uh, let me rename the id so estv uh, text one okay and the hello world uh, i can just name it to TV text 2 okay and use constraint just click this just for the constraint thing uh, it's not that big deal and now you go to main activity here and here um, you just call the text like you want okay like you so the idea is that the data will display separately let's say it's looping like one two three and here maybe another four loop but uh, in different speed you know so you want to display two data separately in a this uh, in a separate thread okay so to use thread is very easy in uh, in Android just call thread like that okay and then just call thread one okay a new thread one okay so actually the thread here you have to create another class and then you have to override some method here it's uh, something like this usually you will create another inner class okay maybe you call my thread okay something like that my thread one and extend thread okay something like this and then you will call 
uh, run because thread is a class okay so you can uh, extend like that but uh, Java has a better way to do that you can just uh, put the open and close curly brace after the close brace normal close brace here and here inside this you can just override this method so this two is the same thing okay but here you have to create a separate inner class but here you just you know like you do the thing in the uh, like in the in the thread itself so it's quite easy to do like this okay easy to read and usually I don't use a second method here so this is the way that I usually do okay so now you can call like sleep okay you wanna you wanna sleep some maybe uh, 1000 is one uh, second okay and if you want to put like um, this one is like millisecond okay and if you want to use sleep you have to surround it by trying kites like this okay and now I want to loop okay so I will loop over that into I zero and maybe 100 okay like this and then this one will slip so you have to put the uh, uh, try and catch here and now you want to display the data into the text one okay so if you want to do log it's okay log doesn't need uh, any handler so maybe I create a log here so 0.03 log and the name of the class here easy to filter okay log now i okay so this one needs to be integer okay so after that you need to start the thread so just call start here so run it and now you open the android monitor here okay and go to debug this one debug and this one is main activity and let's see see that now the number is counting okay up to uh, 100 yes 99 yeah see that okay and if you want it slower then you can do like this Actually, the code here is a real code, um, but I just uh, give you some basic example. Code here is something that you download, you know, a file from a server, or maybe you upload some data to a database, or maybe encoded, uh, you know, image uh, to the 64 string base, or maybe do some complex calculation. So something here in the run method is very important. And now let's say you want to have another thread, so you can copy and paste. Okay, so I need two thread here. So this is the thread number two. And now let's start this one. But then, okay, and let's see. Oh, this one is gonna be I again, so maybe I need to uh, stop it and maybe change it to J. Easily to see. Okay, here maybe J okay and this one J as well okay run again okay now you can see the data is running parallelly okay I J you know and according to the the server the speed of the CPU it sometimes give the uh, you know gl to the j now a lot of j and a lot of i so after i complete j so the cpu manage that actually you can give the priority to that but it's gonna be advanced stuff but maybe the basic stuff is like this so now you can see this is the separate thread so after that you want to send the data to the ui right so here uh, instead of log you want to send the data to text one okay so you have to clear it outside
and after that you then you uh, cut it out like this okay now the text one here is the property of the class so then you can use it inside the method here and also in the uh, inner class or maybe anonymous class okay and right here you may think that okay I will send the data to like you know set text okay and then you get the data I like that okay but um, if you run in a real application you would have the problem because this one is uh, wrong because in the thread you cannot send the data into the UI you have to use the handler okay if you run like this you may uh, successfully uh, run it you know but uh, in the real world you cannot so here what you have to do is like you have to use handler so you can call updater so you're gonna update the you know the user interface new handler new handler okay and then update and then post and inside the post is a runnable so new and then control space like that and then you gonna implement the runnable okay and here you can uh, Send the data to the user interface okay but you got another problem but I here cannot send to the anonymous class here remember the new runnable is anonymous class so you have to declare outside so like this and delete I and then here I okay and the same to J so I have to declare J already here and maybe copy the whole code here, much easier. And then I have to edit some here. So track number two, track number two, maybe it's 200. And here is okay, but uh, instead of I, it's J here. J, okay. Okay, there is a problem here. Uh, just actually, I I do it wrong. You cannot create the handler inside the thread. So, okay, what you have to do, you have to take the code out, the you know the updater here. So because you cannot uh, create it inside the you know the thread, so have to declare outside. And this one updater one, this one updater two. Okay, now this one update to one and this one update to two. But you see the error here because you uh, you have to declare it final because you're gonna use it in the anonymous class, or maybe it's better to uh, take it outside. I usually take it outside like this because if you declare it final, then you cannot update any data. Okay, update to two. Okay, do this way. Now, should solve the problem. Uh, handler outside like that. Okay. Okay. Now the update is in the first one because we change. We didn't change the the text too. Okay. Run again. See the change. Okay. See that. Now the data uh, is running separately. And imagine this kind of game. You know, like one character is moving another one is moving you know or maybe two files are being uploaded to the server you know so it runs separately so that's it for this video i hope you like it if you have any questions just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you and we'll see you in the next video